Welcome to Transformational Fighting Arts Online. I'm Sifu Marcus Lovemore. Today we're going to be doing some, uh, some might say it's advanced, but I call it more intermediate defensive pairing techniques. But it's the defensive sticky hands pairing, because I really don't believe in just pure uh, pairing. Um, most systems, their parry or their their blocking systems, their hand is very kind of lifeless, and they're just kind of blocking up against the uh, the arm or the leg, whatever they're blocking. But I believe in more of a soft-handed um, blocking system. So. Uh, when I demonstrate it, you're going to be able to see what I'm talking about it because it's hard. All the things I'm talking about have an elliptical nature. So um, no linear movements to linear movements, always circular movements to your linear movements. And when you see it, it's going to be enab enable you to do your sticky hands very effectively and be able to catch punches in midair. And this is the problem with some of the other blocking systems where they block when you make contact with the arm, it actually bounces off of your hand and then it makes it very hard for you to actually grab. So then you're always late. So this is why this elliptical or this orbital blocking sticky hand system works really well. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to move into locking, grappling, or move through targets very well, okay? When you really get this. This is the foundation to most of your blocking systems that I'm going to teach you. So learn this really well, okay? So Tennyson, come right in on here. So all, all Tennyson is going to do is he's going to be throwing a straight punch at my head real, real slow. If you want to know about the straight punch, just go to the straight punch video. There's all that. Okay, so he's going to throw it. So his straight punch is going to hit me in the head, right? So he's in range. So he's straight punch. The normal parry or the normal blocking system if I'm going left to left like him, but even right to right, if I was going to use my right hand, I'd parry this way. Or if I was uh, left hand, I was going to I would parry him this way. Just very straight, parry him out of the way. He's hitting me. Or if I'm using my right hand, I'd parry him out of the way that way, right? That is the normal parrying system. I'm not necessarily object to that. In a pinch, that works out. But I don't want you to do that because if you notice, when I hit him, uh, just like in the law of motion, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if I hit his hand, what happens is his hand naturally bounces off of my hand. So I have to, usually it disappears before I have the ability to catch him or control him. I do get him out of the way, but now he's gone. Now he can do whatever he wants to me. But if you really want to control this, instead of hitting the hand, instead of actually giving the energy, what you want to do is join in with the hand and redirect his energy rather than breaking his energy. So instead of hitting it, right, or blocking it to the side, what you want to do is create a circular kind of kind of uh, blocking system. So instead of just going straight to linear to linear, because he's coming out here, I would normally go perpendicular and hit him out of the way. Instead of that, I want to make a little circle and come back with his energy so that when I'm joining in his energy, I just take him offline a little bit. Do you kind of get that? So the, 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 normal, the normal block, what I'm talking about is when you, instead of blocking, I'm going to circulate. And now this is a very exaggerated motion, but I'm going to circulate and hook onto his arm. And I want your arm and wrist to be very limp here because realistically it's the energy of your arm to do this. So, and see how I'm hitting up here and then sliding up? And then what you want to do is lock in on this little piece of his hand, right? The way the, the ergonomics of the bone works, his arm naturally recoils in this motion. So if you can get on this side of his arm, when he recoils, he's going to recoil back into your hand, and then you will not need a thumb in order to do this, okay? So the motion is, as he move, as he throws the punch, hit and throw. You see the also the body turn that's going on? It actually gets me out of the way of his punch, okay? So if we're going to do this, if we switch, switch positions, and he throws, do you see how I'm out of the way of this punch? He's going through me because one, of the turn, I'm turning, and two, I'm guiding the punch by making this circle with my
repairing hand. You see that? And now, because he pulls back, I'm locked up in here, okay? If I was just pairing to the side, right, when he does that, see, see how I, I can't grab him because he bounces off. Because, this, because I'm on this side of the, of the block, I need my thumb in order to grab him. All sticky hands should be useful without the thumb. It should just lock in. So when he throws, you see that? That's the full motion. See how I'm entering into his energy, guiding him, and then rotating my body out of alignment. Do you see that full, full one? Okay. And we're gonna just we're gonna get another angle, right? Right here. So he's coming at me right there. See, I'm gonna. It's almost like I go straight out to go back in, straight out to go back in, and then I rotate. And see, I have a pull. I have a good lock on him. I'm stuck to him. I've actually hooked onto his hand, okay? So it's out, in, turn, okay? Out, in, turn. And one more time, we're going to get on this side. Just so you get all the different angles of this, right? He punches, boom. And you can do this from very inside range. Whoa, right? Or, whoop. See how I'm reaching out to pull him through and I rotate, okay? Thank you very much. So, the motion is in and pull. And uh, it might look a little bit, anybody who's done any um, praying mantis, it's a lot like the praying mantis system. The hook is like this. It's very much in the wrist. And you hook around the back side of the arm. So you're not just pairing on one side. You're trying to wrap around the other side, okay? You enter in and you make a little circle. And that circle joins in on that linear motion. And then you just basically, now it's not your linear motion against his linear motion. It's you redirecting the linear motion offline and then get your body turn. The body turn, you put most of your weight on this leg, okay? And you turn the body and you let him go through, okay? So that's the sticky hands pairing system. If you have any questions, go to Transformational Fighting Arts online. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear if you have any techniques you want me to cover. Please let me know. And understand, all of these free content videos are only put up by your donations. So please go to the donation button, donate anything from $1 to $1,000. I love everything. So, I'm Sifu Marcus Lovemore. This is Transformational Fighting Arts Online. Remember, it's not about knowing it, it's about living it. Thanks.